All right, yesterday I wasn't happy with the way it was looking before I went in a, to saturate it with epoxy. So I went back, filled it in with a second coat of fairing and sanded it all off. And now I think it's ready to go. So process, I would love to be able to film this, but I don't want to go through the process of taking the gloves off, turn the camera on, turn the camera off. I don't have enough space to just on my <coughs> computer just to keep, you know, running the um, camera for the hour or so each time I have to do this. So you're just going to get parts of it. So what we have is all of the holes, screw hole heads are filled in with fairing compounds, sanded off. Seams are filled in, sanded off. Drain plugs are in. We've already gone over all that. So what I'm going to do now for the epoxy pro process is I'm using a slow epoxy from U.S. Composites. It is thin, so it lamp you know is for the cloth laminating. And what I'm going to do with it is put it on, just roll on a coat, literally with a foam roller and a squeegee. And saturate the wood and that'll keep it so when I put the glass on and go to epoxy it again that it's not leaching the epoxy out of the glass and then my glass comes out dry and wants to delaminate so I'm gonna epoxy the wood let it set till I can till it's tacky and then I'm gonna roll my glass out on it and then I'm gonna epoxy the glass each of these processes I'm going to do with the least amount of epoxy that I can get away with because I've learned over the years that anything you put on to try to fill the weave while you're doing it the first time isn't going to work. So I try to put on just enough epoxy to saturate the glass and make sure it holds without using too much. Then I go back and I ferret. It's the fairing it part that actually when you put the the you know micro balloons or a fairing compound or wood filler or whatever you want to you fair it with it that's the process that fills the weave and that's that's when you uh, you know use your epoxy to, to try to smooth the whole boat out and that's what the fairing compound mixed in so at this point we're gonna get at it All right, so I got it coated up. I don't think it took me about it, probably maybe an hour. So now you can see, perhaps hard for me to see in the viewfinder because of the glare, but you can see, see where the epoxy was already on the boat, how glossy it is, and off to the side, how dull it is. I mean, that's already soaked up the epoxy. now. If you put your glass on there with a bare haul where you didn't put epoxy on it, if you put your glass on there and you coated up your glass, all that epoxy would want to leach right through that glass and suck up into the wood. As it stands right now, I'm trying to get up. The way I hope this is going to work for me is I'm going to let it sit out here in the sun for about four hours. And then I'm going to pull it back in the shade and I'm going to let it start to cool. And then I'm going to put my glass on it. Once it starts the cooling process, 
And you can see here how glossy that is. That's because it already had a coat of epoxy. And that epoxy sitting on there, it's not sucked down into that wood. I'm thinking out here in the sun, we're supposed to get mid upper 80s today. So I'm thinking with it out here in the sun, she'll probably start to kick on me here in a little bit. And then pull her into the shade in the shop there or garage which the wife always likes to have empty and put the glass on it and I'll keep it in the cool now remember this is slow so at 80 degrees is where it, like you know where it's pot life is where um, it's optimal temperature is to cure so if I keep it in the shade after I glass it tomorrow morning I'll be able to skim the whole thing with fairing and that'll still be chemical and I like as y'all know wet on wet on wet so I'm gonna actually try to keep it in the shade until I skim it twice fairing wise and then when I after I skim it twice fairing wise I'll let her kick off and then sand it Another thing I wanted to go over, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, probably. See these color differences? That is exactly what will happen to you when you epoxy saturate just the cloth on the dry wood. I was trying to be kind of frugal. Some of my friends will laugh at me. For that um, these are just air blisters right here I'm gonna this one is too it had I was using scrap glass and this had epoxy in it already so it would not lay I'm planning on just sanding all that out this is just I this you know this was extra protection but this is just a perfect example of how the wood sucked the epoxy straight through the glass and then this comes out as this like opaque kind of whitish. It's stuck, but I mean, there's not. You can see where I had extra epoxy saturation here and in here, but in here it it pulled it out of the glass into the wood. That's why they always say, "Hey, do a saturation on your plywood first, let it set, and then go back and put your glass on." <laughs> 